Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm g and and this is episode 38 of the University Challenge and today we are kicking off our league season with what I think is the hardest possible double header to start the season. Back to back away games to the defending champions and title rivals Derry City with only a three day gap between the two games. They really couldn't have given us a tougher start to the season and it's going to be a real challenge but if we come out with this game with I reckon four points we'll say we'd be really in the title race then and it would maybe be a start of us closing the gap to Derry who as I said have won back to back titles so they really are the team to beat in this league so we'll see where we are after these two games for sure. Uh, since the last video and that epic comeback against Sparta Rotterdam we played one game that was in the Leinster Senior Cup against Bray Wanderers and let's have a look at how that game went. We played a rotated team in this game and it was actually an ex-player here Alex Nolan who set up a goal for Bray Wanderers to go 1-0 up it went deflected in off Keir, Ka, Cameron Ledwich to put them 1-0 up but we quickly responded thankfully Ledwich playing a ball over the top to Kia Murphy we slotted home to make it 1-1 and we hoped we would go on and win the game from there but sadly they responded much better than us and went 2-1 up here, Larkin Healy who was in goals not making a good save there <laughs> and that was 2-1 down so we brought on some players to make a difference and Dylan Duffy here crossing, Tommy Lonergan came off the bench, made it 2-2 and levelled things up and it looked like we were heading to extra time until this injury time free kick from Dylan Duffy made it 3-2 and put us into the next round of the Leinster Senior Cup where we will actually be playing strangely enough our reserve team <laughs> yep we've been drawn to play our reserves in the next round of the Lancer Senior Cup which would be interesting if I put out my backup team it'll be our B team against the reserves and <laughs> um, not a game I'll be doing on a video but it should be interesting <laughs> and hopefully we can win that and get through to the next round but more importantly today is the league action We're taking on Derry so let's get to the lineup for the first game against Derry so here we are on our first day of the season uh, other teams have played a game already but because we were in European action we haven't played so this is our season opener against Derry and this is the lineup we're going with and it has Kanate in goals who has taken over as vice captain of the club from Sam Todd which shows the growing influence he's having at this club and great to see he's really taken over that number one jersey and is now a very important member of this squad Alex Dunn is at right back Lamb and Jones are the centre defensive players defensive partnership Greg Lee at left back Greg Sluggett as a defensive midfielder Dimitri back fully fit will start alongside Sean Brennan who takes his new position in centre midfield Julian Malonga starts on the left going interesting to see how he develops and hopefully he nails down that spot Conor McLennan on the right Tommy Donnelly up front and a couple of players on the bench who could make their league debuts Ledwich, Gitau, Steedman and Molyneux so options on the bench for this game hopefully we can put in a good performance and really start out on this road to contend for the title against the defending champions so that's the team to start this game let's get to kick off on the way here at the Brandywell and our league season is up and running and what a difficult start it is away to Derry the two time champions and we have to play them again in three days time so hopefully we can get a good result here in this first game set us up for the next one and start this season off really strong and get this title run hopefully up and running but with five minutes gone here it is nil nil first highlight here as Kanate takes a free kick hits it out to Greg Lee who plays it forward to Malonga excited to see what he can do in this team a cross field ball to McLennan back to Alex Dunn and good spell of possession here can McLennan take on his man he plays it through Tommy Lonergan doesn't get on to the end of it and Derry take control with a long ball forward Sloggett picks it up but Colin Whelan intercepts and now Greg Lee good tackle there to win it back and straight on to the attack can he get to the byline he can is he going to get across no he cu cuts it back to Malonga can he get across he can towards McLennan down to Sean Brennan brilliant 1-0 and we take the lead on our first goal of the season in the league Sean Brennan a well worked goal there uh, Lee Malonga linking up here on the left good play and then Malonga picked out a nice cross in towards McLennan and he nodded it down to Sean Brennan who finished it brilliantly first time great goal great team goal 
and 1-0 up here away to the champions this is the perfect start of the league season Derry have a throw in here on the edge of our box out on the right and they pass it around and they get a cross in towards Colin Whelan he takes it down and great save from Kanate there to deny Colin Whelan great chance and we, we know all too well how good Colin Whelan is at finishing those chances but Derry still on, on the attack here with this corner played in by Byrne headed clear by Greg Lee and comes down to the man, main man Duffy who has a knock I see but that's the end of the highlight so we hold on thanks to that Kanate save big save that could be and with 20 minutes gone we are still ahead here 1-0 throw in here for Derry City and the Bourne takes on our man there I think it's Sloggett out holding him off there as we bring the ball forward patching Colin Whelan's through and another great save from Kanate denying Colin Whelan again brilliant save spread himself wide and pushed it out for a corner another fantastic save to keep us ahead but here come Derry with the corner let's hope we can stay strong here and defend this and we do it's Tommy Lonigan actually got the header clear and the shot is blocked and Jones heads it out and it is a free kick for us so that will relieve the pressure on offside there from Derry but that was a big save from Kanate to keep us ahead in this game he's pulled off two of them now and we stay ahead here 1-0 with five minutes to go in this half into injury time here at the end of the first half one minute of injury time and that's coming to an end here pretty quick so we will be ahead at half time Sean Brennan's goal puts us ahead and then two big saves from Kanate keeping that lead been an even game otherwise we've had a bit more possession a few more shots but you can see Derry's quality and you can see the danger of Colin Whelan for sure so let's hope we can hold strong defensively in the second half and hopefully a second goal to seal the deal would be great let's get to the second half here at the Brandywell second half has kicked off here and this would be a huge result at the start of the season to beat Derry I know we have to play them again in three days but it would give us an advantage straight away this season we beat them a few times last season so we've got to make the most of the fact we seem to have a bit of an Indian sign over them and I'm talking here as if we've this game won but we have a whole half to go if a whole half is a thing <laughs> but um, uh, yeah coming up now to three minutes gone in this second half and we are one nil up goal kick here for Derry and they play it short and try and pass it out from the back which we know they can do they have the quality to do it can we put them under pressure and win the ball back good passing here from Derry it just takes one good tackle from us and we get it here with Alex Dunn winning the header Sean Brennan picks it up now can we hit them on the break Brennan bringing it forward Dimitri Plays it over the top. Tommy Lonigan is true. Tommy Lonigan. at save by their keeper. Big save. Can Malonga get to this ball? He can. And we keep the attack going. He gets to the end. Here he crosses it in. Deflect it. And Derry get the ball down and clear it. Has a big chance for Tommy Lonigan. So both strikers have a big chances in this game. Denied by the goalkeepers. And with 10 minutes gone off this second half. It is still 1-0 to us. Free kick here. Sean Brennan hitting him to the box. Goes for goal. Good save from their keeper. I thought Sean was crossing it, but he went for goal. And their keeper had to save it. And now we have a corner here. Brennan will take this also. And plenty to pick out in the box. Here it comes in. Jones doesn't win the header. And Derry pick it up and hoof it long. And end of the highlight. And 63 minutes gone here. We've made a couple of substitutions. Luke Molyneux on for Malonga to make his debut. And Kia Murphy on for Tommy Lonergan. 25 minutes to go. 1-0 up here. Free kick here. Nico Jones takes it to slog it. He plays a long ball over the top towards Kean Murphy. Can he get on to the end of it? He can't. No. Nope. Derry just kick it clear. And it comes to uh, Cameron Ledwich who has come on for Greg Lee. Tries to play and Kean Murphy can't quite do it. And now Derry are coming on the counter. Bringing it forward. Can we hold them off? We, we do slow them up here momentarily. And that will allow us hopefully to get back into shape. And But Derry maintaining possession. Passing it around lovely here Derry. You can really see the quality they have. And how they've won two titles and this ball through but Jones oh he picked it out oh big save again Kanata huge save there Jones looked like he'd made the interception but then Colin Whelan got onto it and huge save from Kanata three he's made in this game and he really has kept us ahead in this game and with 13 minutes left it is still 1-0 to us minute to go here in this second half and four minutes of injury time and we're into that injury time now holding on to this lead and this will be a big win for us as Derry come in the attack but we intercept it. McLennan bringing it forward. Picks out Keane Murphy. Who's true? Keane Murphy. In. Can he score? Oh, he's gone. Pushed out to the byline. Heading for the corner. He's going to hold on and waste a bit of time. 
great ball though to Steedman. Molyneux scores. Luke Molyneux on his debut seals the three points for us. Big, big goal. And that is a great goal. Two substitutes and two new players linking up there in Steedman and Molyneux. Good play originally here from Keir Murphy. Got pushed out wide, so he held on to it. And then he picked out a great cross to Steedman, who hit it down to Molyneux. And that's a great finish from him. Seals the win for us here. Big, big result early in the season. Beating Derry away from home. We have to do it again, though, in a couple of days. But great first performance in our first game of the league. It's going to be a big three points for us. Also a clean sheet, thanks to Kanata's three brilliant saves from Colin Whelan. And as we go over the injury time, the referee will soon blow this up. There it is, final whistle here at the Brandywell. A 2-0 win for us. Goals from Sean Brennan and Luke Molyneux. Great start to the season. New players all getting good performances in. And that is a brilliant start of the season. We win away to the champions. Unfortunately though, we have to go away to the champions again in three days time. So let's get to the lineup for that second meeting with Derry. So here we are three days later, taking on Derry again and we're going with the same lineup. No changes to the team. Knatton goals, Alex Dunn right back, Lamb Jones centre back, Greg Lee at left back, Sluggett holding midfielder, Demetrio and Brennan in the centre, McLennan and Malonga as the wingers and Lonergan up front. So it worked in the first game, so let's hopefully it'll work in this second game. Let's get to the Brandywell again, again for game two against Derry City. So on the way again here at the Brandywell in this clash against Derry, uh, we've got our first win of the season against them. Can we get our second win? And it will give us a six point advantage on Derry early on in the season, I know, but it will be a great start to the season to already be that far ahead of them. And let's hope we can pull off another big performance here at the Brandywell. With five minutes gone though, it is nil-nil. 20 minutes gone here, it's been a very even game. Uh, possession very close. Derry have had a few shots, we've had one. And it's a lot different to that first game. We haven't got the early goal. And it's really just about now trying to get ourselves a control of the game. Wouldn't say we've been outclassed. They've had a little bit more possession. And maybe we need to just try and control the game a bit more. But 25 minutes gone, nil-nil here. Our first highlight of the game, Nico Jones hitting it along towards Tommy Lonigan. He wins the header, but Derry pick it up, and now they'll come on the attack. And they bring it wide here. McElhenney taking on Greg Lee. Malonga gets back to help. Ball over the top, though. Picks out McElhenney. Cross at Smith, and Derry take the lead. 1-0 here. And we were really cut open there by a simple ball over the top. Initially, we defended well, pushed them back. But then, you can see here, Malonga gets back, pushes McElhenney back he plays the ball which is then returned to him it's a 1-2 really <laughs> and great cross Smith a tap in nothing Kanata could do about that and we go behind to Derry which we didn't do in the first game and let's hope we can respond here half an hour gone 1-0 Derry into injury time here at the end of the first half and no real change in how the game was going Derry very much the team in control and there we have the half time whistle Derry ahead at half time we need to respond let's get to the second half Second half on the way here, need to get ourselves back into this game and we need to show the performance we did in the first game. That goal for Derry, bit of a sucker blow in a way because the game was even enough at that stage. But can we respond? Uh, five, coming up to five minutes gone here and we have uh, a highlight as Derry play the ball forward. Michael Duffy gets on to the end of it. Can he create something? No. Alex Dunn cuts it out, plays it forward and here's Kelly. Bring it forward for Derry. They play it over to McElhenney again. Is he going to create another chance? Greg Lee pushes him back. But oh, Derry, good quality play from them. They strike it. Oh, clips the bar as it goes over. Derry creating a good chance there again and showing their quality. And we are very much hanging on in this game. Five minutes gone in the second half. 1 0 Derry. Hour gone here and still the same. 1 0 to Derry. We've made some substitutions to try and get ourselves into the game. Luke Molyneux on for Malonga. Stedman on for. Dimitri and Jack Keeney on for Sean Brennan. Try and get control maybe a bit more in the midfield. But so far it's Derry very much on top here and leading 1-0. Derry City were a throw in here. Can they work it forward? Hopefully we can hold them back and bring the ball forward ourselves. Here come Derry though. Passing around. Showing their quality again. And this is exactly where they want to be able to control possession. Can we get the ball back? No, it looks like Derry are going to cut us open. They're through here with Smith. We get men back though. Jones 
But here's Burn, I fired just wide. Big escape, big uh, bit of luck there for us to escape. And with 15 minutes to go, it is still 1 0 Derry. Kia Murphy and Dylan Duffy have come on as well. Can we get a goal in this remaining 14 minutes of this game? Into injury time here at the end of this game, and looks like it's going to be a defeat this time round against Derry. Three minutes of injury time, and they have been the better team in this game. Very different to the first one, and it looks like it'll be 1 1 in games between us this season. We'll be level on points, and it's disappointing, but I suppose playing them back to back, it was going to be tough. And to get that win was a good start, but going to have our first defeat of the season. And there is the final whistle. It does end 1-0 to Derry. Just that one goal between us. And they were the better team in terms of possession and shots. We didn't perform as well. Probably a struggle with the three-day turnaround. And plus, we've already had two games before that in the Conference League. So maybe a bit of tiredness. But not a good performance from us. So, we win one, we lose one to Derry. And our season up and running here in the Airtricity League. So, that's our league season now up and running. Back to back games with Derry over one win, one defeat and as you can see we now are in third in the table with two games played and a game in hand and the two teams ahead of us who actually have nine points. So we're actually six points behind the top two at the moment but we have a game in hand and we played probably the toughest games of the season in a way by playing the defending champions and best team in the league back to back away from home so hopefully we can then catch up on them. Uh, when we have an easier run of games but we don't have much time to focus on the league because the next game and the next videos will be the conference league round of 16 first and second leg against Borussia Mönchengladbach of the Bundesliga huge games for this club probably our biggest ever games and let's see how we can do we only have a two day break between the Derry game and the first leg so really a packed schedule here at the start of the season for us if you did enjoy today's video please drop it a like it really will help the video to be seen and more people to get involved with the channel hopefully if you want to subscribe to follow the challenge of this university challenge uh, please do subscribe and there's a playlist on the channel and it will appear on the screen if you want to catch up on anything you may have missed so until the next video when we are in conference league action against Borussia Mönchengladbach please take it easy